Welcome back to another video, my brothers. In today's video, I want to go over a chapter from the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, a remarkable book which had a profound impact on my life when I read it many years ago. The author, Napoleon Hill, studied some of the most successful men in history and what made them tick. And he shared all of this valuable information in this book, which you can grab for less than 10 bucks. It would be a damn shame to not have this book in your library. Because when I was reading it many years ago, I was like, wow, this is powerful stuff. So make sure you grab this book. Now, the chapter that I want to go over with you guys today is titled Desire, the Starting Point of All Achievement. Now, I'm not going to read the entire chapter, but I'm going to cut straight to the juicy parts. So make sure you stay until the end of this video. Let's begin. Every person who wins in any undertaking must be willing to burn his ships and cut all sources of retreat. Only by doing so can one be sure of maintaining that state of mind known as a burning desire to win, essential to success. Every human being who reaches the age of understanding of the purpose of money wishes for it. Wishing will not bring riches. But desiring riches with a state of mind that becomes an obsession, then planning definite ways and means to acquire riches and backing those plans with a persistence which does not recognize failure. The method by which desire for riches can be transmuted into its financial equivalent consists of six definite practical steps. First, fix in your mind the exact amount of money you desire. It is not sufficient merely to say, I want plenty of money. Be definite as to the amount. There is a psychological reason for definiteness, which will be described in a subsequent chapter, which we'll get into another time. Second, Determine exactly what you intend to give in return for the money you desire. There is no such reality as something for nothing. Third, establish a definite date when you intend to possess the money you desire. Fourth, create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once, whether you are ready or not, to put this plan into action. Fifth, write out a clear, concise statement of the amount of money you intend to acquire. Name and the time limit for its acquisition. State what you intend to give in return for the money and describe clearly the plan through which you intend to accumulate it. Sixth, read your written statement aloud twice daily. Once just before retiring at night and once after arising in the morning. As you read... See and feel and believe yourself already in possession of the money. It is important that you follow the instructions described in these six steps. It is especially important that you observe and follow the instructions in the sixth paragraph. You may complain that it is impossible for you to see yourself in possession of money before you actually have it. Here is where a burning desire will come to your aid. If you truly desire money so keenly, that your desire is an obsession, you will have no difficulty in convincing yourself that you will acquire it. The object is to want money and to become so determined to have it that you convince yourself you will have it. Only those who become money conscious ever accumulate great riches. Money conscious means that the mind has become so thoroughly saturated with the desire for money that one can see oneself already in its possession. Wow. I mean, this is powerful stuff. Powerful, powerful stuff. Man, I've highlighted so much of this book. So let me give you guys my two cents. I love how practical this book is as well. I mean, there's instructions on how to begin thinking this way. I, don't know, I know for some of you right now, you might be thinking, wow, God's alley, obsession of money. That's never a good thing. Says who? If you're a good person and you accumulate an enormous amount of wealth, you can do so much good with it. Give the money away to charity. Having money is not the issue here. It's putting yourself into the right state of mind to accumulate this money. There has to be a strong burning desire. 
And you guys just heard right now how it's not sufficient just to say, I want plenty of money. Because I speak to a lot of guys that will say vague shit like, oh, yeah, I want to make a lot of money, yeah. But you saw these six instructions that were given in this book told you to be detailed, time limit. You know, write yourself a check. I mean, Jim Carrey, there was a very popular video. I think it was the Oprah in interview where he wrote himself a check for $10 million, right? And everyone was like, well, why would he do that? And he kept that check in his wallet for years. And he would look at that check on a regular basis and he would believe that he was already in its possession. Well, he had it already. And then there was a contract once that was sent to him for one of his movies. And the contract was for $10 million. So that check that he wrote to himself became a reality. He ended up receiving that money. It's actually scary how if you actually plan it properly. And you see how this books, and I love this part as well. It's no good to say, yeah, I want to make 100k, Ali. Right? The second step was determine exactly what you intend to give in return for the money you desire. There is no such reality as something for nothing. I love that. Because it's no good just saying, oh, yeah, I want to make money, but, you know, I don't know, you know, exactly how, you know. Nah. The third point was establish a definite date. Okay, for when you intend to possess the money. And the fourth was create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once. At once. It's no good sitting on it. Well, yeah, I do desire to make a lot of money. Well, you've got to do something with that desire. It's no good just sitting on it. You've got to do something with that desire. You've got to begin immediately. And I posted this on my uh, story today as well. I posted that in action is a sign of lack of desire. You don't want it, but that's how you know you have low desire for what you want right now, because you're not taking action. If you see a motherfucker go out there and take tons of action, he's always doing shit, busy. You know this guy wants it badly. He ain't joking around. But when you see somebody not really doing much, just constantly engaging in self-pleasure, Right, as in, he's just doing things to make himself constantly entertained. He's playing PlayStation. He's watching movies. That person ain't ain't gonna go far. So your work ethic reflects your desire. For a while, I thought I was somebody who desired success and everything. But when I look back, I was chatting shit because I wasn't backing it up with a ridiculous, sickening work ethic. Your work ethic proves your desire. And now I move in a very calculated way. I'm no longer, well, Ali, let's hope that things work out. Nah, I've got a, a target. And look, whether or not you achieve it in the time that you've written is not the issue. Remember, the person you become in the process is far more important than the actual goal at the end. Because if you set a goal to become a millionaire, but you don't become a millionaire, but you make 700000 a year or 600000 a year. I'm sure most of you won't complain about that. You're far better off than if you would have set a goal for 100 k a year, right? So it's not the end of the world if you don't get the exact goal that you were seeking. Because in the process, you would have developed into the man that you are right now. And it's not to say there's nothing preventing you from making a millionaire next year, right? Remember, Earl Nightingale defines success as the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Okay, that's why I love this book, because it tells you to figure out exactly what you intend on doing to receive the money. Okay, because if, if it's just the money that you're, you're after, you won't succeed. Okay? But if you want to deliver an incredible service, then the money will come. Right? So question yourself right now. I want you to keep it real with you. Whether you're driving right now and you're listening to this video. Uh, or whether you're sat down watching me. I want you to ask yourself, you know. Do I really want this? You know. Do I really want to achieve this goal? Have I been backing it up 
with real work. You know, work ethic is, I mean, that's a separate video in of itself, but I was thinking about this the other day. I think today's generation of men have lost touch with what working really hard means. You know, social media, you could say, has made us a lot lazier. All these automated softwares that have made our lives a lot easier, which, you know, are a good thing. Don't get me wrong. Technology, you know, improvements are always a good thing. But I feel like a lot of men are now avoiding hard work. And I know some of you are in jobs that you don't want to be in. You know, long term. To which I would say, work harder on yourself than you do on your job. Shout out to Jim Rohn. Always referencing the greatest to ever do it, right? Jim Rohn said it very nicely. Work harder on yourself than you do on your job. Some of you guys, you're given a corporation your best nine hours, ten hours. The moment you go home, you jump into bed, you jack off a load, load of porn, and then you go to sleep. So when it comes to your own goals, your own success, you piss it down the drain. When it comes to making another company rich, there you are working hard. I care about me and I care about my future, which is why I'm working hard right now. And I'm always keeping it real with me. Right? I'll look at, look at myself in the mirror. Ali, did you really work as hard as you could have worked today? And if the answer is no, I'll try and make it up the next day. Come on, man. Do you really want this or not? And, you know, I used to do things like... I used to put myself in situations to where I had to grind hard. You know, one of my... <laughs> One of my thought processes to finance in a car many years ago was it would force me to grind. And it did, even though I probably shouldn't have financed it at the age that I did when I was 21. I, was, I financed a BMW for about £400 a month at the time, even though I shouldn't have done that. It did actually kick me up the backside because I had to make the money every month, right? But anyways, that's a separate topic. I want you... To keep it real with yourself. Check yourself. Oh, man, you fucking did nothing today. What the fuck are you doing, man? Pick it up. You say you want these grand things, these big goals. Well, why aren't you fucking backing it up with real work? What's the matter with you? You know, like, a lot of guys will say, yeah, man, I'm grinding, bro. Are you? Are you grinding? Or do you just enjoy telling everybody that you're grinding, you're hustling? Yeah, I'm hustling, bro. Are you, though? Or did you just spend the last four hours scrolling mindlessly through social media? Let's keep it real here, man. Now, if you're a content creator, your grind is making videos, distributing videos everywhere. You've got to be seen all the time. You have to be. I mean, I know some guys will, say, will tell me, oh, Ali's a bit tiring. Fuck it. That's the life you signed up for, being a content creator. I mean, do I feel like recording a video every day? No. But I'm willing to do that because... That's what it takes to win in this game. And I give every video my absolute best. Do what is required. I mean, go above what is required. You know, I said this in a video recently. A man that does more than what he is paid for one day get paid for more than what he does. If you're uploading videos to a YouTube channel right now, consistently and you're providing value and you're not seeing the financial rewards of that work because you're working so hard at one point in your life that money will come in abundance and you'll be thinking whoa do i really deserve all of this yeah you do because you are uploading consistent value for a consistent period of time and so it should be no surprise when the riches arrive success should not shock you oh my god how did that happen no it shouldn't shock you and the reason why it shouldn't shock you is because you've been working your fucking ass off for the last four, five, six, God knows how many years. Of course, success came to you. Who else would it have gone to? Jim Rohn used to say, success is looking for a good place to stay. You deserve it because you've been working your fucking ass off for it. You were willing to do what most people were unwilling to do. Therefore, you deserve to live like most people will never live. Because you paid the price. When everybody else was out there clubbing and living it up, you were grinding away in your bedroom, on your laptop, making your dreams become a reality. So of course it was you. 
It should never surprise you. All right, so to recap this video, the starting point of all great achievement is desire. Burning desire, which becomes an obsession. Keep it real with you, yourself, man. Do I want this so badly? Or do I kind of want it? Because if you kind of want it, you ain't going to become successful. I'm just going to keep it real. If you, ah, you know, if I kind of want it, yeah, it'll be nice to have it. You ain't going to make it. Because there's somebody out there who's starving for it. And is willing to do absolutely everything in their power to make that dream a reality. They're refining their craft every single day. They're reading books. They're listening to podcasts. They want it so bad. You work on it once a week. You're part-time with it. That motherfucker is full-time. Every fucking day. And that person would achieve that success. Because they're backing it up with a ridiculous work ethic. Remember what I said? Your inaction is a reflection of your lack of desire. So prove to yourself, if you really want this, prove to yourself through your work ethic that you really want it. And with that being said, guys, hopefully this video has provided you with some value. If it has, make sure you give this video a like, comment, let me know what you think down below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.